Blessed be, I'm Lady Maris and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. So which witch is which and how do you spot a witch? Good things to know. Witches come in all shapes and sizes. You have male witches, you have female witches, you have all ethnicities. Witches are young and witches are old. So how do you spot a witch? Well, there's, there's different, uh, different methods um, and it's not necessarily what they're wearing. So I'll, I'll be showing quite a few different images as we go. Some of them will be of witches, some of them are not. All of them are, will be used as illustration only. I'm not saying um, one way or the other whether one person is a witch or not. I am just using it as a way of, of illustrating um, a point. Now, when you're starting out in anything, not only the craft, but when you're starting out uh, with any kind of, um, let's just say, a hobby, an interest, um, whether it be a spiritual practice or whether it is that you suddenly um, decide that tennis is going to be your thing, uh, you will start to uh, move and um, and walk and talk in, in different circles than, than you normally would. You would, um, if, if it's tennis, then you would start to um, talk to other tennis players. You'd start to um, hang out, as they say, with other tennis players. You would um, go to tennis matches. You would, you would form relationships with other tennis players. And as it goes, you will start to adopt maybe the type of type of dress that um, someone who is a tennis player would, would dress in. You would obviously wear sneakers, um, you know, if you're a man you'd be wearing you know, tennis shorts, if you're a woman maybe tennis shorts as well but sometimes uh, tennis dresses. But you would start to, to adopt that attire so that when you were seen say from a distance people would go, oh that's a tennis player. The same as if you were maybe into hip hop, you would um, start to uh, adopt that style of dress as you were listening to that music and, and moving in those circles. So the moment you um, saw, someone saw you, then it would be, oh, they're into hip hop, um, or oh, that person is a nurse because they're wearing a, a nurse's outfit. That person is a policeman. They're work, wearing a, a, a policeman's uniform. So it all starts to, to slot in. Humans like to um, work in symbols and they like to know kind of what type of person they're going to be talking to um, before they start talking to them. So it's all of those visual cues of about what that type of person is. So if they are wearing a certain type of... Um, outfit or or uh, genre of clothes then you've already got that established idea as to what type of person they are the it's kind of like as as without so within so they're adopting the character of the person that they would like to be or they are on the inside on the outside so it's a, a form of um, shorthand when you're communicating also, human beings also like to um, gather in groups. They like to have like people around them because um, it makes them feel better. You know, walking in the herd, being part of the herd, as they say. Now, when it comes to witches and witchcraft, you you do have um, a certain stereotypical look. And that usually is of someone who likes to wear black, maybe has all black hair, dyed black hair, or maybe even um, very bright red hair. You see a few of those. Uh, there's always a few pentacles on display. 
and um, sometimes it's a very gothic look sometimes it can be a very um, maybe a medieval type look um, lots of flowing um, gowns not just flowing gowns but flowing fabric um, and with the men a lot of the times you you notice maybe it's just um, me but I've seen a lot of men who who like to model themselves on um, Anton LaVey's look where it's the bald head and the the uh, the trimmed um, kind of goatee moustache type thing um, where they all look dark and mysterious and brooding. Um, now, that's fine if that's what you like and that's your look uh, because um, it makes you feel like it's you when you are expressing yourself. There's nothing wrong with expressing yourself in fashion and hairstyles and, and different things. Um, human beings have doing, been doing that for, for millennia. Um, the thing is that um, what you wear doesn't necessarily mean that you are that thing. Um, I, can, I can wear a, a, a Christian cross um, and even put a, um, a nun's habit on, but that doesn't make me a nun or a Christian. I can wear a police uniform, but that doesn't make me a policeman. Um, I can wear um, a stethoscope and uh, a white coat, but that doesn't make me a doctor. Um, so wearing... Um, the uh, stereotypical, maybe gothic, witchy look, um, or even um, you know a, a kind of hippie look, doesn't um, make me a witch. So what I wear doesn't make me the thing that I'm wearing. Um, being a witch is something that is on the inside. It's part of who you are. It's not what you're wearing. Uh, so when you when you're starting out, and I and I know if you're if you're young, so if you're a teenager, a lot of the times you're finding yourself, and and you will experiment with different looks and different different ideas and different things, and and maybe witchcraft is one of the things that you're experimenting with at this time. Um, but a lot of people feel and maybe are put off by exploring their spirituality when it comes to the path of the witch by thinking that they have to dress in a certain way. They have to um, look a certain way. Um, and if they don't look a certain way, then they're not going to be taken seriously in, in their craft. Oh, well, you don't look like a witch, so you mustn't, you mustn't really be that um, committed and dedicated to witchcraft, um, which is a pile of shit, really. Uh, it does not matter what you wear and what you look like. It matters on the inside. And as I said, you can dress like a witch. You can call yourself a witch. But that doesn't make you a witch. A witch is something that is reflected on the, from the inside. It is what you do, um, how you feel, how you, how you interact with people. It is that quality that is uh, just part of you. You have people that I'm, I'm sure that you may have met or you will meet in your life that you would look at them and you would go, oh, you're so, you're so such a witch. But you would, but they aren't wearing the stereotypical um, clothing of a witch. And if you said, oh, you're just like a witch, they would be quite horrified because they don't identify themselves as a witch. But they have that quality. They have the quality of the witch. And on the other side, you have someone who um, identifies with the witch, um, calls themselves witches, um, dresses the way of the witch, all basically ticking all of those boxes um, that would say witch, witch, witch. But it's not there. It's... Um, the idea of fake it till you make it can only work to a certain extent. Um, after that, you need to actually have something on the inside. So you can tick all the boxes, but you may not be a witch. And there are many people out there that call themselves witches, um, look the part, um, 
and convince a lot of people that they are the part, but they aren't um, on closer inspection and using that um, innate quality within yourself to, let's maybe call it a, um, a bullshit detector, you can find out um, who someone is. And if they are a witch, then it will shine through, whether they're wearing the garb of a witch or whether they're wearing the garb of a, a doctor, a lawyer, um, someone who um, um, digs ditches in the road. Um, it doesn't matter what their profession, what they're doing, what their age, what their, what their sex, what their nationality is. Um, if they're a witch, they're a witch. Um, and uh, so, so all I can really say is clothes... As they say, do not necessarily maketh the witch. Um, it is that quality on the inside. So how do you spot a witch? Well, you can't judge a book by its cover, obviously. You, you need to, to look at the inside. You, you need to um, close your outer eyes and use your inner eyes, that feeling, that quality. Um, that it's almost electricity that you may may get from someone or, or just a knowing depends on on how that information comes to you um, and um, if you are starting out and you you are attracted to witchcraft but you're not being in that gothic look just doesn't work for you or um, you don't have to wear a pentacle to be a witch. As I said, I can wear a, a Christian cross. That does not make me a Christian. Wearing a pentacle does not make you a witch. So if wearing pentacles doesn't work for you, then you don't need to do it. Um, you don't need to do anything on the, on the outside to... Um, say that you're a witch unless you're looking for other witches and then yes a pentacle would kind of be a little subtle sign to say uh, you know, I'm pagan or I'm into that sort of thing and and it would help you to find others but as I said it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a witch it could mean that they find it uh, spooky and and people find it confronting and they like that um they like to push people's buttons, so they're wearing a pentacle uh, just to do that. Uh, so again, which witch is which? Use your inner eye. Use, look through the heart, not through the eyes, and you will find those true witches, whether they're wearing uh, a uh, a witchy outfit with the wild hair or whether they're that that person that sits in the corner of a, of a cafe um, quite unassuming um, and uh, just seems to, to sparkle um, while other people walk by. Witchcraft isn't about what you look like. It's about on the inside. So find that witch on the inside. And on the outside, you can wear a tutu. You can wear a bee outfit. You can wear anything that you want. Whatever reflects your personality. Don't conform to what you think a witch should look like. A witch lives on the fringe. A witch is about being wild in themselves. It's not about looking like everybody else. It is about being individual and doing what feels right to you, not conforming to a uniform. There is no witchcraft uniform as far as I'm aware. 
which has come in all shapes and sizes and all styles of clothing and hair. You find what works for you and do it. Don't worry what anyone else says. If it works for you and that's your style, then rock it, baby. Own it. Blessed be.